The third episode of X-Men is the best one yet. Uh, I always loved Madeline Pryor in the comics. Um, her being a clone of Jean Grey, her being the Goblin Queen, the whole Inferno storyline brings back a lot of memories. Uh, but she was an excellent, excellent character. Um, and the whole fascination about Jean Grey and her memories and the Phoenix Force, all that stuff. Um, you know, and Nathan, uh, which is going to become Cable. And Cable's cloned. Uh, they clone him, which is Strife, because they wanted Strife, I guess, to be... I guess he was cloned because they thought Cable was going to die, and they cloned him to be like a leader, but he was a villain, really. So <clears throat> he's got his own clone, which is crazy. So, uh, but that's in the future. Um, a little bit differently uh, in the animated compared to the comics. Um, but Bishop taking the baby to the future, pretty cool. Um, and where does this leave Scott and Jean Grey? whole bunch of stuff going on. So, uh, Forge in the comics, that, that happens too. Yeah, he get, gets together with Storm, tries to, you know, restore her powers and stuff like that. So, it, this is great. Right, straight from the comics, you know, with a little twist here and there. I'm excited. Uh, it's m so much better than episode one, by far. And... I wanted to watch this because supposedly, I guess, episode five is a crazy one that everybody's like saying, watch it before someone spoils it. I know Dan Slott said that all over the internet. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to watch it before someone spoils it. All right. So excellent episode. Have a great day. Take care. Bye for now.